Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, it's Wendy's favorite day of the week. Get ready for all of the sizzling hot topics we can fit in one hour. And is One Direction breaking up? Marianne Garvey from VH1's Gossip Table has the inside scoop on all their behind-the-scenes drama. Plus, we've got more spring savings for you on the hottest new Trendy at Wendy items. Now, here's Wendy! Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. driving snow on Friday, it's ridiculous. Mother Nature, please get over yourself and give us some nice weather, you know? Did you have a nice weekend? Yeah. Me too. My weekends, I always like to set them pretty basic and pretty typical. I like to stick to a schedule. I do grocery shopping. Sometimes if there's something broke at the house, then that's when, you know, the fix-it person will come over and fix that. Uh, this weekend, my son and I uh, palled around together. We went to the mall and we, you know, had lunch and stuff. Shout out to everybody we saw at the mall. Um, <laughs> then then I, I drive around the town, you know, in the suburbs of New Jersey, and I do random things and listening to my friends, Denise and Melissa. Have you ever listened to the moms on Sirius XM? Yeah. Love them, you know? And then, of course, cooking and uh, lots of TV. Last night, I fell asleep at like 9.15. The last thing that I can remember seeing is Taylor Dane on Millionaire Matchmaker. <laughs> Taylor, it was nice to see you. Yes. And I fell asleep and I missed the Royals. And then I was thinking, why is it that I couldn't stay up? Because I love the Royals on E! at 10 o'clock. But it seems like 10 o'clock on a Sunday night, it's harder to stay up for me than maybe a Tuesday night or a Wednesday night because I spend all day Sunday. I don't know if this is you. If you're a working person, uh, you spend all day Sunday preparing for the week ahead. And by the time like eight o'clock comes, you're so exhausted. <laughs> but I had a revelation over the weekend while getting a manicure. I said, um, Kamora Simmons would be perfect for fashion police. I know that's a very random thought, but um, I'm a random thinker. And, and I'm thinking that the show needs to be over. They said that they're gonna bring it back in September, but if they're not lying to us and they really are gonna be bringing it back, she'd be perfect. She's a model. Um, she has a respected fashion opinion and uh, she's got a personality to boot. So anyway, that was my random weekend in Jersey. I like to keep it status quo on the weekends because normally if I do have something exciting to do on the weekends, it's like real exciting. Like this coming weekend, I'm going to Tampa um, for HSN to present my line. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You know, uh, real quick, you know, where else can you get a wrap dress for 49 bucks? And, um, and, um, and then I have like nine to five wear and weekend wear. Now my Suzanne, who just celebrated her birthday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she, uh, Larry, you gotta get the head to toe shot because it's all Wendy wear except for the shoes. Yep, yep. There you go. Ta -da. Yeah, Suzanne, model girl. <laughs> I love it. Everything's under a hundred bucks. Anyway, okay, so look. 
There's trouble in paradise, and I say, Miley Cyrus, you've got one weekend to cry about this, and then you move on, okay? Because you deserve better. You know, we can say a lot about Miley, and we always do, but one thing that I can never accuse her of being is a cheater. You know, when she's had boyfriends and fiancés in the past, you never see her sneaking around town. I respect that about her. Um, but remember last week we were talking about she was spotted getting, or um, Patrick Schwarzenegger, the boyfriend, was spotted getting close to another girl on spring break. This is the girl. And some people in my Hot Topics were saying, well, that could be very innocent. You know how kids like to hang on each other? I said, no. I said, that's not innocent. He's gazing, she's gazing, and he's you know, giving back the hug. And uh, Miley was nowhere around on spring break. <clears throat> personally, personally speaking, I don't think that spring break is a place uh, to go if you're in a serious relationship, unless you're going together. Yeah. I'm just saying. <clears throat> So I didn't give him a pass on that one, and I guess maybe Miley didn't either, but now for those of you who gave him a pass on this random hug, there are more pictures that surfaced from the same day of Patrick getting flirty with another girl. Not just any cute girl, his ex-girlfriend! You know I'm a body linguist, I love body language, it tells a lot more than the spoken word. This right here is saying, Yes, I miss you. <laughs> and, she's, and she's moving her glasses up like, say what? <laughs> and, and, <laughs> listen, so, we did some more digging about this girl. Apparently this girl has been on Schwarzenegger Shriver trips with the whole family. Whoa. Maria, who doesn't like Miley, really likes this girl, there she is. Uh, the paparazzi has spotted her diving off the Schwarzenegger Schriever yacht. And um, they both go to the same college. So they're college sweethearts. Now this is what I say. <laughs> Do you think he's cheating on Miley? <laughs> well, so do I. But here's my thought. These are the things, you know, when you're young, you're supposed to kiss a lot of frogs. I've never thought it was healthy for young people to fall so deeply in love. Miley's already been engaged once to that Liam person, you know, back in the day. Um, she and Patrick were already talking about getting engaged, Miley and Patrick. I think Miley is 22? 22? 22. 22 years old. A 22 year old girl, you know, she'll have her heart broken for one weekend and then she needs to get out there and have a good time. Now she went to some festival to get over it this past weekend. She wasn't even on the bill, but I guess she wanted to you know, get out of the house. Um, and regarding Patrick, this is what seniors in college sometimes do, girls. It happens. And if I were Maria, Maria, <laughs> were you the one behind breaking up Patrick and, your, and Miley? Because this is the kind of mom I am. I, I mean, not that I would do it, but I totally get it, and I might. You call up the old girlfriend and you say, how would you like spring break on me? <laughs> we'll send the jet around, and you have first class everything, you know? So it, it worked. Uh, Miley, Miley, you live and you learn, and then you get loves, like the commercial says. Uh, by the way, Miley did post a... <laughs> a disturbing picture with the caption, current mood on her social media. Take a look. <laughs> now, if this was one of our more mentally unstable celebrities, I might be nervous, but this is Miley. You know, my, go on girl, you're fine Miley, you're fine. <laughs> We haven't heard from Rob Kardashian in a long time, until now. Apparently he's slamming his sister Kim. Again, because he's done that before. Remember when she married Kanye, he left in the middle of the ceremony and flew back to, the, to our country. Rob, <laughs> Rob posted this picture with the caption, this is my sister Kim, the bitch from Gone Girl. <laughs> look, 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 look. I didn't see the movie, so I don't know what that means, but the majority of everybody in this building has seen the movie, so you understand what that means. Okay, so look, he deleted everything on his Instagram except for this picture and that caption. 
I would have, you know, I wouldn't imagine that Kim would be the best sister. I'm sure she's hella selfish. And, and all the things that he says about her, I'm not surprised. But what I want Rob to do is get over his family and get into himself. Yeah. Because Rob... <clears throat> You know, I don't know what has been done to your heart by Rita Ora and Adrienne Bailon and some of your past girlfriends, but, but you're wearing it on your waistline, dear. <laughs> Do you remember when Rod, Rob used to be thinner? Yes. I, I don't know what's going on with you, Rob, but I would say take care of your outside and your, oh. And you can't even say the middle age spread. Like, you know, some of us, we gain weight and we, we can blame it on, oh, we had kids. <laughs> and the middle eight, you know, we're now 45 or whatever. But no, Rob, you need to get back to that, Rob, Rob. Yeah. Really, Rob. Yeah. And you know, Rob, I think you would be a superhero to all of us out here if you uh, branched out of your family and wrote a tell-all. Yeah. Or, or uh, right? Or something, or something. Oh, Rob. And by the way, happy belated birthday, Rob. I understand you celebrated a birthday and your sister, you know, the one from Gone Girl, <laughs> she posted a picture of um, Rob looking, well, Rob, you look hot. Kim, I don't, you have messed your, you, Kim, you have messed your face up. I mean, Kim is still a pretty girl, but this girl right here, just like she's gone way too far with every, Thing. Anyway, happy belated birthday, Rob Arthur George Sox. Get yourself together. Did you hear about Suge Knight? Do you know who Suge Knight is? Yes. Okay, good. My people. <laughs> Look, the judge gave him $25 million bail. He's never getting out. He's never going to get out. He doesn't have that money. He's no longer friends with Dr. Dre who's got the $25 million. Like, like he has burned all financial bridges. Nobody's giving Suge the best place. A lot of people would say that the best place for him to be is behind bars because now the streets are a little safer. Well, anyway, so this all transpired on Friday. And I'll tell you where I was at the time of the verdict and who I was with. Just give me a moment. <laughs> um, at the time of the verdict, that was Friday, and it came down. Um, apparently, he went, this is him in court. Uh, you know, he's going blind or already blind in one eye, which I don't know why he was driving the truck to begin with, the truck where he ran over that man. A, he ran over a man in the truck, allegedly, allegedly. The lawyer lady up there in the booth is telling me to say allegedly, but... <laughs> But if you go on TMZ.com, you'll, you'll see the video footage. <laughs> Look, so Shug is pulling into a parking lot and he's driving a big red truck and he ran over a man and then backed over the man. <laughs> the man's body hopped up. I mean, it was, it was the saddest, it, it was the saddest thing ever. So, but I'll say allegedly, even though I know what my eyes saw. <laughs> um, anyway, he was so upset in court, this Shug was, that he fainted. Some people would say threw himself on the ground, but we're, <laughs> we're gonna go with faint. So he is, he's blind in one eye, he fainted in court, um, and, and he got taken away in an ambulance. So a lot of people's thoughts are Suge based on how menacing he was, you know, back in the day, Death Row Records, hanging, you know, ice, um, vanilla ice by, off the balcony by his feet, allegedly, and using real strong arm tactics to, you know, gain control of situations. Um, a lot of people say that he's getting what he deserves and if he doesn't get killed in the streets, he'll be killed in jail. So maybe the one place where he wouldn't be killed is in the hospital. And so a lot of people, well, 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 a lot of people feel, a lot of people feel that um, he's faking all this to stay in maybe the safest place, which would be the hospital. I don't know where he's gonna get the $25 million, uh, but it is for taking this man's life allegedly through running him over, not once, but backing the truck over and hitting him twice. 
This is um, the fourth time he's been taken to the hospital after court. Um, now, when I found out this information, I just happened to be near somebody whose opinion mattered. Michelle. Michelle is Suge Knight and Dr. Dre's baby's mother. She had a, hey, Michelle. <laughs> That's how she's off. Now look. I like Michelle a lot. We happened to be together in the same room at the same time. Somebody called me over like this and said, guess what, breaking news, look. You know, showed me on the phone. I was like, ooh. And Michelle was sitting there minding her own business. She knew nothing. So I went, when I went over to tell her, well, her reaction, let's just say, was very interesting. I will not defy her confidence, but her reaction was extremely interesting. Suge, it looks like your booty's in a sling this time. <laughs> and we'll continue watching, because we have to. <laughs> Over the weekend, while I was glancing at my Sex in the City marathon on the E! channel, but I didn't stay. The reason that I didn't stay is because they were the Baryshnikov years. I don't like Carrie in Paris. I hate when she, I hate when she turned her life over to that man. Remember she smoked in the restaurant and ate with the dog? And then he forced her to meet his ex-wife. And then the daughter was like kind of flipping to Carrie. I, I skipped over it. I was paying more attention to the scroll. You know how the E! News makes the scroll at the bottom? And I see Bradley Cooper and Suki Waterhouse are over after dating for two years. Know, just as well, you remember the, when last we talked about them, which was just last week, I was telling you, <laughs> I was telling you that Suki really wants to get married and Bradley is down for starting a family but wasn't really about the marriage. And I, I said that Suki was doing the right thing then by wearing Gloria, Brad's mother down. You know, sometimes when you want something from your man, sometimes if you use the Jedi mind trick on the mom, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> then the mom will convey to your man, and before you know it, your man is doing exactly what you need him to do. <laughs> right? So, so, uh, but apparently, Bradley is ready to start the family, like I was telling you, and Suki, although she wants to get married, she wants to focus on her career, which she can't, she's only 23. It's for the best, everybody. He's 40 years old. There's a two years neither of them will get back, but hopefully it's a learning lesson for both of them. When you're a 30-year-old man and you know, you're know you thinking about getting married one day, you don't date a 21-year-old girl. At the time they started, she was 21. You know, Let her grow. She, 23 is too young for babies, whether you're a school teacher or an actress. So good luck to both of them. They're both very good looking people. They make a handsome couple, but I'm sure both of them will be just fine. Yeah. Did you, do you know who Eric Walden is? No. My people. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> because you know I'm not really a sports person. You know, I don't go to sports, sports come to me. Like if, like if something happens hot topically, then all of a sudden I'm a sports person. <laughs> well, something happened hot topically this week and I wanna share the story, okay? Now look, Eric Walden plays for the Green Bay... Pa Indianapolis Colts. <laughs> They're so masculine over there. <laughs> he plays for the Indianapolis Colts and he's been in the NFL for eight years. And he has a four-year, $4 million a year contract. Did I remember right? Good. I got a good night's sleep. Anyway, he was allegedly attacked by his baby's mother. Well, no, no, no. Listen to <laughs> Look, that's what she looked like when she did the attack, because that's the mugshot. Imagine walking in the door and, okay. This, this, <laughs> Let me tell you what happened, let me tell you what happened. All right, so the kids, first of all, they have two kids together, and the kids look to be about like six and eight years old. And this guy is 28 years old, and um, apparently they're not together anymore, but he was out with his new girl, and I, I, you know, they'd gone to dinner, and I guess they came back, you know, for a nightcap. <laughs> and 
he puts the key in the door or opens the garage door, or whatever he does. Anyway, he opens the door to go into his own house. And what do you think happened? This woman down here with the googly eyes. <laughs> I'm one to talk. I know what my eyes do when I do this show. I have a disease, Graves' disease. Um, look, this lady right here with the googly eyes jumped out of nowhere with a gun and a baseball bat. <laughs> look, allegedly. Look. <laughs> She allegedly got into the house on her own. And I guess that'll learn you to use your alarm, Eric. <laughs> Look, so she's waiting in the house and he walks in with his new chick. And she commences to trying to swing and it, he fought her and got the gun out of her hand. Like a Wee TV movie. <laughs> and then she, this lady right here, swings the bat and misses him but hits the girlfriend in the arm and broke it. Not it the bat, but it the arm. And then the cops were called. And the cops show up and they take um, the girlfriend and, and Eric's account of the situation. And do they take um, the lady? Oh, she already fled the scene, so she didn't go into custody, right? So she, she's on the loose. <laughs> and, and so look, so then after the cops take the statement, the cops leave and Eric takes his new chick to the hospital. So he takes her to the hospital, get the arm all you know, bandaged up, I guess. When they get back from the hospital, this girl right here, the baby's mother, jumps out. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> look, look. The baby's mother allegedly jumps out of the woods with a knife. <laughs> and slashed Eric in the arm. As in, you thought I was out of weapons, did you? <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. This is terrible, it's not funny. And all like, you know, you know I love to talk race. And you've been watching now for six seasons. If you're new to the show, just know I like to talk race. I'm not a racist, I'm a realist. But as a black woman, the only thing that some of us wonder is, I wonder if his new girlfriend is a white girl. Cause sometimes that makes sisters even more angry when a man has moved on. And that might, Suzanne? White ladies? Like, like, do you know what I mean, Suzanne? Well, no black men have ever hit on me. Well, you're married. Oh. But what, they, what some black men do is some black men will use, like this was probably his girl when he was on the come up. You know, in college and everything, she put up with all the practices, broke nights, cheating. She probably, she could have allegedly helped him do his work on account of a lot of football players aren't so. You know what I mean? Oh, I get it now. And then all of a sudden he gets this four year, $4 million a year yep. contract. Yep. And now all of a sudden some black women feel this way. I don't feel this way, but okay. I'm just sharing what goes on in our community because you might never know what is in the inner workings of some black women, but some black women do feel, and this is real, Suzanne. Okay, all right, I'll listen. Like, like all of a sudden, all of a sudden a man gets going and makes it great, right. you know, one of ours, right. and then he, Damn him. I'm, I'm just saying, I, mean, I don't know what the new girlfriend looks like. I have no idea, but can we just please do, cause there's two sides to every story. We don't know what this man has done to this woman to make her come to his house with three weapons. <laughs> All I know is, is that allegedly, as of the time when the double doors open, Eric has custody of the kids and um, we do have a better, give a better picture of this woman, please. Yes. Uh, oh. <laughs> Look, good luck to all parties and shout out to everybody in the sports world. Like I said, I don't follow you all. I mind my own business. But when your mess re meets the intersection of my hot topics, I gotta go with the story. Yeah. And with that in mind, we've got more great show for you, everybody. Up next, Marianne Carvey is back on the show. Marianne Garvey is joining us with the Inside Scoop on the latest cheating scandal, excuse me, yes, cheating scandal and a lot of drama going on with One Direction. At first I didn't care, but believe me, this story is juicy. So keep it where you got it. Thank you. Who's got the best hot topic?
six. Coming up on Wendy, we're breaking down the headlines like nobody else. And he knows a thing or two about hot topics. Let's get right to it, because I have a lot to talk with you about. Our friend Donnie Deutsch. Tomorrow on an all-new Wendy. Topic show every Monday. I love it like this. Now it's time for the inside scoop. Here with the juicy stories from the gossip table on VH1. Say hello to our friend Marianne Garvey. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Okay. Okay. One Direction. Uh, one Direction. We're starting with One Direction. Yes. Okay, so there's some major drama going on with the biggest band in the world. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Zayn Malik. Uh, one of the, well, they're all cute. He's a very cute member of the band. Uh, he is involved in a cheating scandal, which could possibly take down the band. So uh, they were on their Asia leg of the tour. They were in Thailand. He goes out to a club. He meets some girl. He's holding hands with her. He's snuck Snuggling with her. It's not his fiance of two years. Okay, Harry he, Edwards. He, he's another one of these young people sick in love. He's like, what, 22 years 22 old? 22 years old. He's been engaged for two, two years. years. Um, and he gets caught with this other girl. So the One Direction camp claims it's stress. And uh, he calls it quits, leaves his four buddies on the tour, goes home to deal with Perry Edwards and whatever's going now, on there. He didn't quit the band. He just uh, quit the, the tour. tour. For the tour. Yeah. And now, mind you, this is this guy's, um, this guy has been been having a difficult time dealing with fame he, anyway? He's the most emotionally fragile of the group. Um, this has happened before. What a turn on. <laughs> <laughs> right? A rocker with a, who's got a sad, sad breakup. Um, so he... Uh, at the Today Show here in New York, uh -huh. he bailed on a performance there, left the other four guys yeah. to do it. Um, so basically what he had to say about getting caught with this girl, he took to Twitter, like all celebrities do, Zane, and he said, I'm only 22 years old. I love a girl named Perry Edwards, and there's a lot of jealous F words in this world. I'm sorry for what it looks like. I don't, is that a denial? I don't know, kind of. Here's, here's what I think. <laughs> I think that, well, first of all, what does the rest of the band say about this? Well, the rest of the band, the tour has been going on uh, without him, and they actually have a version of the tour built to go on without him, choreographed, singing, everything, because he's done this before. He's done it before. This is not his first time. So here's what I think, One Direction, One Direction fans and everybody who cares. <laughs> I feel as though if you can do five-part harmony, it's just as easy to do four-part harmony. Harmony, right. I say kick this guy out of the group because now that's more money for the rest of us. We don't have to split our money five ways. Right. I, I am not mad at this guy. I admire him for standing in his own truth, which is that being a celebrity, particularly as a young person, is very it's, it's, it's a lot. And all he wants to do is go back to and live a normal life in the States, right? He wants right? to live in the countryside. Well, he wants let to him be go with on Perry. and be with uh, <laughs> Laura Ingalls. Yeah. And, and <laughs> that, no, no, I'm just saying, I appreciate people that stand in their own truth. So if this is what this guy wants to do, he's, then kick him out of the band. He's the very of, open about not liking fame. So the tour yeah, okay. is going on. The okay. tour is going all on. All right. And we don't need to audition anybody new. Yep. Four <laughs> members of the group are fine. Oh, God. Young people exhaust me. Let's, <laughs> let's talk about older people. Older people. Older, attractive people. Uh, Joe Manganiello and Sofia Vergara. Yeah. In love. Manly in love couple. Um, Cute. The one problem with the new relationship, right? Joe's friends are saying, hey, we haven't seen you in six months. Where are you? He hasn't oh. been out with his buddies. Um, they're complaining. He's been to every dinner with Sophia, every vacation with Sophia. I mean, who wouldn't? Um, and especially his main wingman, his brother Nick, is complaining, listen, I haven't seen you in six months. What are you doing? Do they have the same parents? <laughs> You get all wrapped up in it. But the wedding is this summer. They'll tie Perfect. the knot. And then you know what happens. You go back to your friends. You start to get back into your old yeah, routine. The so. friends have to understand, you know, it's supposed to be hot and spicy. And you're supposed to be, like, stuck to each other like glue for, like, your first year of your relationship. Yeah. And then same thing, I think, maybe with the first year of marriage. Yeah. Don't worry. He'll be back to the bros. You know what? Probably <laughs> the problem is he's the one who attracts all the chicks. He's probably the best looking one in the group. And they really do miss him. He's the bait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
All right, now let's talk about this new drama over the Blurred Lines song. It's gotten out of control. Out of control. Okay, so Marvin Gaye's family, um, as we know, we've seen in the news, uh, had uh, taken it to court, and Robin Thicke and Pharrell had to pay $7.4 million to Marvin Gaye's family for ripping off Got to Give It Up of Marvin Gaye. So that's what the judge said happened, and Blurred Lines sounds that a lot like happened. it. should have happened. Right. So, but now they're going even further and the family won't stop. They're like, oh, we won one thing. Let's just keep going. The gay kids are relentless. <laughs> <laughs> so the family now wants to stop any copyright, any distribution, any even performance of Blurred Lines anywhere. If it's played or performed, they want to get money from that. Okay, but they're wasting their money on lawyers for that. Right. We already have Blurred Lines in our iPods and, and whatnot. And, and the song is not number one on the hit parade anymore. The song is exhausted. Well, they're taking it so far that there's an original version of the song where T.I. raps on it. Yes. Um, and now they're going after T.I. And T.I.'s like, wait, you, you could just send in a rap from anywhere. I had nothing to do with this. Why are you coming after me? Yeah, the gay kids should not be coming after T.I. They're just going after anyone. <laughs> in after anyone who's like even touched blurred lines. So Pharrell is saying, listen, this hurts the artist. Where are we going to draw inspiration from? You guys are really taking this too far. So there's really no end in sight. Yeah. Well, we'll be following that. These are great stories, Marianne. Thanks for coming over. Check out Marianne and the gang at the Gossip Table on VH1 for more stories like these. Hot Topic Sound Off is next. Topic sound off. This is where my co-hosts get a chance to share their opinions about today's hot topics. How you doing? I'm good. How are you doing, Wendy? Very well, thank I'm you. I'm Charlena. Um, I'd like to sound off on Rob Kardashian. Okay. I think that he's disrespectful. I think comparing his sister Kim to a sociopath is disgusting. <laughs> and I'm with you. I'm ready for a tell-all. And I think he's going to do it. Uh -huh. I'm with you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Who's next? How you doing, How you doing Wendy? Good. Hey, I want to sound off about Miley Cyrus. Okay. Hey, I think this should be the absolute last straw for Miley. She is way too free-spirited, way too beautiful to settle for his alleged cheating. Yes. Okay? And rubbing sun suntan lotion on somebody, that's okay. But when you massaging it in, all that, <laughs> way right. too much. I'm 21 years old. I can never imagine getting married right now. Exactly. Never, never. Thank you. Thank you. We have time for another one. Hello there. How you doing? How you doing? I'm, I'm Alyssa. I just can't get over Bradley Cooper. She's 21. Yeah. That's just barely out of childhood. Yeah. I mean, there are plenty of women that want to have children yes. that would love to have Bradley Cooper's children. Yes, yes, yes. Bradley Cooper, find someone your old age. Yes, yes. thank you. Thank you very much. My audience is so opinionated. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. I'm Laura. How you doing? Hi, Laura. Hi. I want to sound off on Sophia and Joe. It's only natural. I agree with you. It's only natural for them to be together. They're engaged. They need to be spending time with each other. I feel that, you know, in my opinion, whenever you start off in a relationship, you need to be prioritizing your time together and work. And yeah. that's all that matters. Boy, and it's nobody first, else's business. Friends second, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Up next, everybody, we've got unbelievable discounts on some of the spring's hottest products. Trendy at Wendy is next. We always get the inside scoop. Now we're getting the inside edition from the one and only Deborah Norville. And these celebrities aren't just stars, they're style stars. Learn how to get the look on any budget. My girls are always turned out. Wednesday on an all-new Wendy. While the calendar says winter is finally over, today on Trendy with uh, Trendy at Wendy, we're showing you how to get some un unbelievable discounts on some of spring's hottest products. Everything that you see here will be available for a limited time at wendyshow.com. Please welcome our smart friend, the financial fashionista, Nicole Lappin, back to our show. Yeah. Hey. It's 28 I'm not degrees happy about out. It. But we have luxury throws so we can warm y'all up. I love it. Also, the thing about 
about spring when it does actually get really hot outside? The AC blast. Hello? Right? Like yes. crazy. So in the spring is when you actually need really nice blankets more. These are by Therese. Look very on both sides. You know, sometimes one side is satin and the other side's very. This is good. <laughs> We're going to snuggle. How much are these? <laughs> these Tell are the highest quality faux fur. Super luxe. Very yummy, machine washable, actually. Oh. Yeah, so really easy to care for. Mm. All the color palettes go with all your stuff in the home. Mm. Retails for $150. We're not paying that. No, heck no. 65% <laughs> off, 52 bucks. 52 bucks? Left yeah. in the spring. Okay, crazy. what's this? We need to take care of our hair mm -hmm. in the springtime, all year round. This is the good stuff. Bamboo Hair Trio by Alterine. Alterna, and this is a huge celeb fave. Katie Holmes loves this set. She's got good hair. She has great hair. Yeah. And no wonder she caught Tom Cruise, and now maybe Jamie Foxx. Well, although, know. although Jamie Jamie is denying that they're that they're not dating, but I read it in People magazine, and that's one of the most trusted names in gossip. So allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Mm, it smells really good. Bamboo extract gives your hair volume uh, for up to 48 hours. It retails for $113, but for all three. Okay. So you get the shampoo, Still, conditioner, everything. Not paying that. No way. 57% uh, off, only $49. And yeah, you know, and that's one hair. thing that people have to remember is sometimes when you use the good stuff, it goes a long way. Yeah, okay. it sure does. Wigologist approved too. Yes. There you go. Jewelry. Yes, we need to get into the spring mode. This is a great way to pop a little bit of color into your wardrobe. Rare Gemstone Pendants by Charlene K. We're all about gemstones this season. Yeah. This is uh, something that Eva Longoria is obsessed with. So is Carrie Underwood. They love these little necklaces. They're just the cutest little peanut charms ever. Uh, sapphire, rose, citrine, turquoise, ruby comes in a bunch of different you know varieties. What? This is where you remember your graduates. You know, remember the graduates. Now, yes, how much is this? retails for $100, but just for Wendy Watchers, we have 71% off, so just $29 for rare gemstones. Sweet. Yes. What's this? More gemstones, because mm. it's obviously trendy at Wendy, so we have to stay on trend for spring. This is mesmerized I bangles with bang. diamonds and gemstones. Now, this is these mm. always sell out at Trendy at Wendy. Uh -huh. Every time we have these on the show, everybody loves these. 18 karat gold, rose gold, white gold vermeil. They normally are at the finest luxury boutiques, but we have them obviously at Trendy yeah. at Wendy. Yeah, girl, here. Uh huh. Just get, How much? It, get it in there. Because you, you can stack. You can stack. Yeah, like... yeah, that's what I would do. I'm going to stack all these after the show. <laughs> <laughs> you get all of them because they retail for up to $2,200. Wow. This is the real stuff. But the discount is up to 88% off, so as low as $115. That's it. Remember the graduates. Remember yourself. Thanks, Nicole. Another great job with Thank Trendy you. at Wendy. These amazing deals are right now for Wendy watchers only for a limited time. Before they sell out, go to wendyshow.com. Get yours. Yeah. Ask Wendy is next. There's so much more of The Wendy Show at wendyshow.com. Watch must-see moments, catch my after show, and enter for your chance to win some amazing free stuff. Check out wendyshow.com today. Wendy, how you doing? How you doing, Wendy? I'm Letitia. How you doing? Fine, Letitia. How can I help? Okay. Um, I, I'm dating two men currently right now. Oh. Uh, I, I love them both. I love them both, but now it's time for me to choose. But my issue is that... Letitia, uh, do, yes. they, do they know that they're both dating you? Yeah, they do. And it's, yeah, they do. Okay. They both know. So I wonder how many they're dating. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I, that's just off topic, but to me, okay. if I was dating somebody who was dating two people, then I'd be dating two or three people as well. Okay, true. Okay, so, so go ahead, go ahead. Okay, my issue is that I love them both, so they're telling me, like, it's like, okay, one has a lot of money, and he has a good job, he's, you know, stability, but the, and, but the, the sex is awful. Sex is awful. And the other one, the other one is broke, but the sex is good, the sex is good. So which one do I choose? 
I mean, I'll be perfectly honest with you. You look like a woman of a particular age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> where we're a little bit more practical in our choices. Mm -hmm. Good sex is very important, but also so is stability at a particular yes. age in life. Yes. I say you throw them both back and start over again. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, I, 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 there are guys out there, they might not make a whole lot of money, right. but they'll make more than the broke guy, and right. they'll also be able to put it down the way you might want it, <laughs> okay? okay? Good Thank luck, you. good Thank luck. You so much. You're very welcome. <laughs> How you doing? Hi, Wendy. I'm Tina. How you doing? Hi, Tina. How can I help? Um, so I was hooking up with my best friend's brother for a few months. It is over now, but she has no idea. Okay. I hope still. Okay. <laughs> um, but we both moved on. He does have a girlfriend. It is awkward between us, and it's becoming a little awkward between me and my best friend. I was wondering if I should tell her, even though it's over. Well, first of all, don't tell her. If she has a TV, she's going to find out. <laughs> But here's the thing, there's nothing wrong with hooking up with your best friend's brother. The problem is, is that you have to be prepared for when he does move on and get, mm -hmm. in other words, this is time to harness your maturity and don't let this affect you and your best friend's relationship because this is your fault. Yeah. I uh, mean, men are, always not, men are always knocking on our doors. Yeah. It's just up to us as women, whether we open it or not, and you open, so now you have to deal with the consequences. Don't tell her okay. and don't make him feel Good. awkward. Are you cuter than the new girlfriend? Obviously. <laughs> And that's all that matters. <laughs> Pop quiz is next. Go, go, go. Hey, welcome back. I am here with Meredith. She is a bank teller from Bayonne, New Jersey, and it's time for Pop Quiz. All right, here's your question. Don't help her, okay? Were you paying attention during Hot Topics? Yes, I was. Okay. What was Suge Knight's bail set at? $20 million, $25 million, or $30 million? $25 million. Yes! Congratulations! We are giving... Oh, wait, I have another question. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Not so quick. Okay. How many years were Bradley Cooper and Suki Waterhouse dating? One, two, or three? Two years. Yes! yes! Congratulations, Mary! We're giving you a two-year free gift card for Netflix. Here you go. and my fantastic co-host, my studio audience. Tomorrow, the always outspoken and easy on the eyes, Donnie Deutsch is here. Plus, I got you covered with all the juicy hot topics. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye.